Would you like to learn how to draw a llama? Llamas are all the rage lately. They are everywhere you go, especially at big box stores. Um, they are printed on t-shirts and all that. So llamas, llamas are such a cool animal. And in this lesson, um, I taught my students about the country of Peru and how they actually use the llamas in the mountains of Peru. This is why there are these mountains there um, to transport things. So, and a lot of times in Peru, they have some beautiful fabrics and stuff on them, which they make in Peru. So we <clears throat> kind of learned about that. So we're gonna learn how to draw a llama today. Now, once again, always use your pencil. Um, I will be using a Sharpie. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the llama's head. So you're gonna come up kind of to the top. Let me show you again on this picture. So here's our llama. This is one of my students. We're gonna make our neck a little bit longer than this one, but you're gonna come up around the top of your paper. That's always key is to where you start because if you start down here and you draw a tiny llama, it's maybe gonna look a little different, which is okay, but we definitely want our llama to stand out, to be big. So the first thing I'm gonna draw <clears throat> is a backward C. We've done that before. Okay, so that's going to be, let me trace it with my Sharpie, the nose, the beginning of our llama's face. So from your C, you're going to come up, And then we're gonna come around. All right, so that's the beginning of our llama. As you can see, I made a super tiny mistake because I'm trying to draw with Sharpie and show you guys how to do it, but that is okay. So I came around, I did my C, I came up came down and then I did two lines for the neck. Now we're gonna come around and finish the llama's body. So from the back side of the neck, you're gonna come around and come around. All right, and you're gonna close that circle and then we're gonna come down and do our feet. which are just long rectangles. Sometimes I like to, when I'm doing animal's legs, just to do something a little different. This is the leg behind here and have a little kick going like they're walking. So here's the general shape of the llama's body. Um, and at the bottom, you know, we have hooves. So you wanna come down and draw a little line for their hooves. And then we're going to come in and do some ears. Okay, we're gonna come in and do the eye. So the eye is just like a sleeping eye, so it's pretty easy, all right, like that. Um, and if you wanna add eyelashes, you can. You do not have to, although llamas do have long eyelashes. Then we're gonna come around and do the mouth. Now, I made this mistake, so I'm gonna show you guys how you can kind of fix a mistake. There's a little line right here. But um, first you're gonna do kind of a backwards half circle. So you're gonna come in, okay, you have that. The nostrils, which are two little straight lines like that. Now this is where I messed up. So we're gonna have a little smile for our llama. So I'm just gonna come in and turn that into a smile. Now, next thing, we're going to draw our designs on our llama. Oops, I forgot one thing. Hair. Okay, she's looking super cute. So we're gonna do designs on our llama and I'm going to show you how to do that. And then I'm going to show you just a scene you can do behind. Guys, always don't forget to add the ground under whatever you're drawing so it doesn't look like they're just floating in the air, okay? So you have that. Now I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. I'm gonna let you watch how I do the designs and add some things in the background. 
you are more than welcome to add whatever designs you want to your llama. is finished now I chose greens and grays and blues because I wanted to do a night scene um, and I kept my llama white totally up to you obviously I had to be really careful painting around it choose whatever colors you like um, and I'm so excited to see what you do and please share your photos of what you make so I can feature you on my Facebook page thanks and have an awesome day